Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. So before I begin guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, support the channel and I'm not gonna give you any medical advice today guys, I'm not making any medical claims and with that being said, let's just go ahead and answer the question that a lot of people are asking. People wanna know what's more beneficial, hydrogen gas inhalation like this or hydrogen water? So in, I can give you guys my opinions but let's first dive into a little bit of the science and make sure to stay tuned all the way till the end actually because some of it is gonna sound like it's leading you in a certain direction as far as what's better. But then if you wait till the end, you're gonna see that it can be a little misleading. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let's start with just the hydrogen gas inhalation. First of all, hydrogen gas inhalation, I mean, it's gonna go into your system quicker. So the delivery system is quicker, which is really good for like something traumatic, guys, some type of emergency, which is why in Japan they use it for things like heart attacks, strokes, and whatnot, because you're gonna get it in there right away. The other thing is you're gonna get higher concentrations of it in the cells and the tissues, certain organs, like for example, the brain versus hydrogen water. Remember, stay tuned till the end, because although this sounds like it's better, we're gonna, we're gonna dive a little deeper into this. And I got a ton of notes here because otherwise, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something. There's so much stuff to cover. So, okay, so with hydrogen gas, it seems to be a better delivery system. Okay, great. And concentrations are higher, great. And it suggests that there should be greater benefit, but it's not confirmed, guys. So, but we are gonna talk about some things that are confirmed. So we're gonna get into this again in a second. So yes, you're gonna get the larger amounts, and this is all great. And it appears that the hydrogen gas might even stay in your system a little longer. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about, and, and also the way that it affects what we would call gene expression. But only specific genes uh, that the hydrogen gas seems to affect, specific genes that hydrogen water seems to affect, and we're gonna go into that in just a second too. Let me talk a little bit about hydrogen water. Hydrogen water obviously takes a completely different path. It goes into the stomach, it appears that it's stimulating the production of ghrelin, which is like the hunger hormone, and something called leptin, which is the one, kind of a hormone that makes you feel full. And the important part, in my opinion, is just do a little research, guys. Do a little research about how ghrelin can potentially affect your health or the health benefits of it. This is gonna be shedding a little more light on, in my opinion, well, yeah, why the water is superior. I mean, the science primarily shows that the water has more benefit if you wanna call it that, but it doesn't mean that the gas doesn't have benefit. And then there's something that's even better than just the hydrogen gas or just uh, the hydrogen water. And, and we're obviously gonna be talking about that here in a second. So the hydrogen water also seems to affect, you know, secondary messengers. It induces therapeutic effects on the brain. Now this is interesting. Although you get less hydrogen to the brain, it seems to have, from what I can see, greater benefit for the brain. And, and again, this could be due to different mechanisms that they're not really aware of yet. So let's keep going. Also, the way that it also seems, the hydrogen water seems to affect other organs, but indirectly. So again, getting very interesting, hydrogen water also appears to affect your microbiome. And when it affects, you know, the composition of your microbiome in the GI, it seems to have an effect on metabolism, the way it affects people with diabetes, the way it affects people, well, you know, the diet, the metabolism and obesity seems to be a really good example because if you guys have ever seen my videos, if you've ever seen Dolores, she's lost a lot of weight following my hydrogen protocol, which is video 337 if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna try to remember to put a link down below for you guys for that. But this composition and the way that it affects your gut flora, which is one of the reasons in my opinion that hydrogen has, that hydrogen water has better effects, is because the way that it's affecting it seems to indirectly affect the metabolism also of uh, the benefits of cholesterol metabolism. And also the way that it affects uh, as far as protection for the liver, as compared to the hydrogen gas, even though the gas brings higher amounts. So this is all very, very interesting. And it does take longer, obviously. You drink the water and it seems to have these longer effects. And sometimes, you know, in the world of science, they're showing months before it really affects certain things. This is why I always say, make sure to make the hydrogen water properly. I think, you know, I'm gonna show you more proof on this. In fact, I finally found out when it starts leaching metal. I, I'm gonna share more data on this, but it appears after around 17 uses is when these begin to start leaching the metal. So I finally have a number for you guys, and I'm gonna show proof of that in the future. And also watch out for these blue drops. I found out that they're not accurate at all, unfortunately. I thought they were accurate, but they're not. Um, they're actually, I'm gonna be showing proof of that too. So just stay tuned for those videos. They're gonna be really exciting. Okay, where did I leave off here? So the way that it's affecting the, the microbiome, um, your GI, and the beneficial effects on obesity, 
uh, diabetes, metabolism, all that. And, and you know, those benefits on the obesity, the diabetes, the metabolism, and the effects, the rough effects that they can see on the liver, these are all from unknown mechanisms. So they don't even know how it's working, guys. But the important part to me is, I hate to say it, but I don't really care how it's working. I just like the fact that it is working. And that's what's important because then we know that we can use hydrogen. It obviously has a positive effect from what we can see. Okay. The water just simply seems to be more potent. It's, it just seems to be, for example, on the secondary messengers. It just seems to be more potent in that regard than the hydrogen gas inhalation, which ultimately leads to stronger gene expression. Again, something that's very, very positive if you're trying to use it for your health. If you're gonna do hydrogen to improve your health, guys, in my opinion, you really just wanna make sure that you're following the proper protocol and using the proper equipment because otherwise you're just not gonna get the benefit, guys. I've seen it a million times, but let's go ahead and, and uh, keep moving on. Okay, so although hydrogen water gets you much lower concentrations of the hydrogen in the system, it just simply appears to have a stronger effect. So ultimately, which one is better, guys? Well, this is where it gets really interesting. Let's just talk about gene expression for a moment. So it appears that hydrogen gas will have certain effects on gene expression. Hydrogen water can have the same effects on the same genes, but there's, it appears that hydrogen gas will, will have certain effects on gene expression that wa the water doesn't have. And the water can have it on certain gene expression that the gas doesn't have. And then they both can have effects on the same type of gene expression. But here's where it gets really interesting. There appears to be almost like a secret type of benefit from using them together. And this is something that I've been stating for a long time, hence the reason I think they finally did these studies and they proved it. They proved that using them together is what's ideal. And this is one of the reasons that I don't wanna rely on just something like, for example, just hydrogen pills. Well, this, these things in my opinion are a joke. They don't really help. I, I mean, I tried them in the past. They don't even sell them anymore in Japan because they're not good for you. And, and it took them a while to figure that out. I've been saying it forever. Um, that's just silly. And then these little bottles are kind of silly too. And again, the leaching of metals directly electro electrolyzing the water. And you never, by the way, guys, never inhale hydrogen gas from one of these. Um, I've seen people selling devices like that and it's just terrible and it makes me sad because people won't get the benefits of hydrogen or they'll get minimal benefits, but at what risk? That's always uh, the issue. So. Follow the proper protocol where you're using both the water and the gas if you're trying to maximize and get ultimately the, be the best benefits, in my opinion. And now we have science that really supports that using both can do things that individually they could not do. So I hope that this video helped you guys. Don't forget again, subscribe, share, support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time on the next one. And if you have any suggestions for any videos that you'd like me to cover, just go ahead and comment below. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the next one.